It's that time of year again to start thinking about what classes you're going to register for for next year. Here's a breakdown of recommended years that you take specific things. You can come back to this if you need, or you can review this in the curriculum guide as well. Here's the flow chart of the language arts recommended sequence of classes. Again, I'm not going to go over all of this with you. You can refer to this in your curriculum guide or pause the video and look at this a little bit more, but it has the, I, the recommended classes for each grade. Here's your math flow chart. Science gets a little bit more tricky, looking at all the different pathways. Again, all of this will be found in your curriculum guide as well. Social studies options. Here's an example of a sample 10th grade course selection. World Literature and Composition for 10 credits, World Geography for 10 credits, Earth Systems Science for 10 credits, Math, typically it'll be either Geometry, Algebra 2, or potentially something else for 10 credits, refer back to that flowchart, World Language for 10 credits, PE and Wellness for 5 credits, Fine or Applied Arts for five credits, and then electives for the remaining 20 credits, you're looking at wanting to register for a total of 80 credits. Here's a sample 11th grade course selection. U.S. Lit and Comp for 10 credits, U.S. History for 10, Science for 10 credits. Again, refer back to those pathways. Math, 10 credits as well. Again, we're referring back to those pathways. Career and financial planning typically happens in your 11th grade year for five credits, PE and wellness for five credits, and then electives for the remaining 30 credits, equaling a total of 80. Now, in 11th grade, depending on how many credits you've already earned up to this point, you can take only 70 if that's what you choose. 12th grade gets a little more tricky because you have a lot more options and likely fewer credits that you need to earn. So you will need senior English classes for 10 credits. This will be when you're gonna take your government and your economics for five credits each. If you are thinking about college, you should take a fourth year of math for 10 credits. You'll wanna meet those humanities requirements if you haven't yet for five credits. And then electives will make up the last 25 credits of your requirements, equaling 60 credits for your senior year. If you are wanting to graduate early, you will need to schedule an appointment to talk with your counselor. Be sure that you complete all of the paperwork throughout the process during fall semester so that you can get graduated on time and get a diploma ordered.